to BTR's Elite Partners podcast and blog series, where we invite our elite partners to share what they're doing in the world of technology and benefits. My name is Holly Brummett. I am a host of the series, as well as the business development coordinator for BTR. And with me is my co-host, Therese. Hey, Therese. Hey, Holly. Hi, I'm Therese Tomasek. Um, I'm the consulting operations and vendor manager for BTR. And we are so excited to bring awareness to the market about our elite carrier and vendor partners. Yeah, we really are. You know, we've been referred to in the market as the gold standard for HR technology and communications, um, really because we have a great service model that's dedicated support year round. Um, and, you know, our partners, they're great too. We consider them solid gold. So our elite partnerships are key to our seeing our employers have success and savings when it comes to their technology and communications. Yeah, they really are, Holly. And also, you know, I just want to add that, you know, we created these partnerships to help employers and employees in all types of industries across the U.S. Um, as, you know, everyone is aware, um, HR technology and benefits can oftentimes be complicated, right? Um, so here at BTR, we aim to not only simplify the experience, but also um, improve it with creative and customized solutions for employers everywhere. Um, we are extremely proud of this program. And today we're proud to feature Vimley on the podcast. Vimley was so great. And you know, I, <laughs> I felt funny in the middle of the podcast talking about his um, CD collection. He had a big Pearl Jam CD on the back <laughs> of his shelf behind him. And I was like, I can't not talk about that. Like, <laughs> you have to, if you're a awesome. 90s kid, if you're a 90s kid, you know. <laughs> I feel like there's a whole realm of conversations we could have had about music there, but Definitely. it was really fun to have the guys on. They're great, and uh, Josh and Braden are really great people. They're doing amazing things with Bimley in the market for me was, so really excited to hear the conversation. Let's get into it. Right. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, today, we have with us on the podcast, Josh to start and Brad and White from Bimley. Uh, will you both please introduce yourselves and what you do? Hey, yeah, good morning. Uh, this is Josh Desart. I am the Director of National Sales for Vimley. Been with Vimley for about three years. Uh, however, I got about 20 years of experience in the Ben Admin place and, and really um, focus on the, the multi-employer markets uh, in terms of verticals, you know, and uh, really excited to be here today. Thanks for having us. Good morning. It's Brad and White. I'm the director of marketing. So have been at Vimley just a short period of time, a few months, but been in the industry about 13 years working for a variety of benefit administration companies, PEOs, and others. Terrific. That's great to hear. Well, thank you both so much for sharing. Um, you know, over at BTR, one of the things we get questioned about a lot is what are your partners good at? What do they specialize in? Um, so if you wouldn't mind, um, you know, please share what it, Vimley is really good at and what's your kind of claim to fame. Yeah, happy to do it. Um, you know, Vimley is a really a best in class benefits administration solution, uh, really specifically focused on streamlining workflows and creating efficiencies for the multi-employer markets. So anybody that has an aggregated business model uh, like MIWA's association health plans, trusts, PEOs, you know, anybody that has a, a book of business. And, uh, you know, we provide a very comprehensive platform um, for enrollment, eligibility, billing, very robust integrations. And uh, we'll get more into that, I think, uh, in a little bit. Yeah, Great. thanks, Josh. You know, one of, the, one of the things that I find really interesting about Bimley is, like, I've always kind of wondered, where, where did you come from? You know, like, <laughs> working with me was as a very specific niche and I'm curious how you got there. Yeah, I mean, it really is. It's a very niche market. Um, and, uh, you know, Vimley has actually been around for almost 30 years. Um, it's a woman-owned business. Uh, we started in 1993 as a TPA that was uh, really focused on serving the needs and, and solving the complexities of the small group market through MIWAs and associations and trusts. And, you know, during that time, we, we quickly found out that there was really no specific software platform or bin admin platform that could really solve for the complexities of that market. So we went ahead, we built our own uh, platform, our own technology platform. And, um, you know, we're, we're leveraging that today. There's, you know, as we know, you know, there's a lot of bin admin platforms out there today that are really built uh, to handle the single employer 
but not many for the multi-employer market. And uh, you know that's really where we focus. We we uh, we we play well. We stay in our lane, and uh, um, it's just truly architected to uh, to support that aggregated business model. Yeah. What are some of the specific needs you're seeing with MIWAs? You know what I mean. MIWAs I, I would consider a very underserved uh, market. Um, you know they are mired in um, manual processes. There are significant complexities associated primarily around the billing and reconciliation when all these small organizations are trying to reconcile multiple carrier bills on a monthly basis. Um, you know, there's, there's additional things, um, for example, um, the technology. Like I just mentioned, there's really no true technology out there uh, you know, besides Vimley and, and a couple very few others that are specifically, you know, built to to support the, you know, this this space, and they're also struggling with a lack of transparency, you know, and they have a book of business. A lot of the organizations they they like to really understand, um, you know, how their business is doing, um, ability to communicate across their, uh, you know, their member employer groups and employees. Right. Yeah, we're seeing communication is a huge need, especially yeah. post pandemic. You know, everybody's trying to talk to everybody and trying to engage their employees when they're scattered to the four winds. So that's we're seeing that as a growing need, too. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, there's very few organizations out there with the you know expertise and what we call the mission critical knowledge when it comes to um, the, the, the MIWAs and the multi-employer markets. So there's a lot of, you know, regulation and, and legislation around those organizations. Absolutely. Yeah, most definitely. Um, you know, and as we look at the market of employee benefits, you know, there's a lot of tech players. So tell us a little bit more about your solution, you know, its features, the benefits, um, kind of talk to that. I'm happy to do it. Um, you know, so when, when, you, when you look at Vimla, you have really a complete high trust certified benefits administration technology and services solution. Um, so, you know, when you think about a Ben admin solution, there's always the software component and the servicing side. And if you take those two buckets, if you take the, you know, the software side, for example, um, I would probably call out four key pillars for Vimla. We've got quoting, enrollment and eligibility, true consolidated billing and settlement, and then very robust integrations. You know, when you take a look at the quoting, for example, today we're providing a true quote to card solution across the uh, small group community plans for two large Blue Cross plans. We're in the process now of building out underwritten quoting and level funded quoting. It's gonna be rolled out next year. We're gonna productize the solution for the market. Um, enrollment and eligibility. I mean, just having the, the complete workflow driven uh, environment for enrolling in, into benefits, you know, um, having, you know, visibility into, uh, into the overall offering. But I would, I would call out um, the consolidated billing really is our, our flagship product and a true differentiator for us. Our ability to um, consolidate any and all carriers, any broker commissions, any admin fees that these MIWAs or associations might want to charge put it all into one invoice for each member group and they can pay directly from the portal. There's multiple ways they can pay. Vimly takes the payment, it's reconciled in real time because the enrollment and the billing platform is one of the same. And then we disperse all the money on the back end to all of them, all of the primary stakeholders. Um, and then integrations, Therese, um, I, you know, I would call out that as our, uh, our fourth Pillar and again, very flexible and robust integration options. Whether it's whether it's taking an inbound 834 from an external HRIS or Ben Admin platform, or whether it's outbound EDI to the carriers, we've got uh, almost 30 years of expertise in in, uh, in the integrations. That's awesome. Then, I like the idea of the four pillars. Oh, you've got more to share. Sorry. Well, I was going to go to <laughs> I, was the excited. I, I don't know if you had any, any questions on the on the software piece or, you know, um, I'm happy to talk a little bit more about our service model. Yeah, please do. Yeah, please. Sure. Yeah. And, you know, again, what I would say before I jump to services, everything that we do in terms of the platform is 100% mobile optimized which makes it easier for anybody to access the, you know, the platform from any device. It's not an app. So, you, you know, people don't have to get rid of their, you know, their, their pictures and photos to download an app. Everything is completely uh, mobile optimized. 
So in, in terms of the, you know, the service model that we provide, it can be anywhere from SaaS all the way to full TPA. You know, like I mentioned, we started as a TPA almost 30 years ago. So we do have the capability in a white label fashion to support these me as an associations that might not have all the internal resources uh, of an HR department, for example. So we can be that call center. You know, we can be the, the, the entity that's setting up the new member groups on the platform, um, you know, handling a lot of the back office work. But again, if the MIWAs and associations have the resources, they can simply take our platform from a SaaS perspective and power their own business. So again, very flexible there. Um, we work with each individual organization to find the best fit service model. Um, in addition to that, I just wanted to mention that we do also provide very uh, robust trust administration services. So again, an example of kind of our, our mission critical knowledge in, in the space, but you know, we can provide board meeting support, uh, end of year or quarterly financial statements, you know, that trusts have to have to be doing um, just to, you know, to run the run the business. So, you know, a lot of trust administrative services, um, full integrated Cobra, you know, um, right into the platform. So, uh, you know, we do provide full federal Cobra. Um, we've got solutions for uh, CDH. So any you know, health benefit accounts, FSA, HSA, HRA, ACA services. And again, everything that I, you know, uh, in terms of them leads, having the high trust certification puts us really at the, um, at the front in terms of the full security um, and uh, what's really around data security and storage, the pinnacle in the, uh, the industry. That's really cool. You've thought about the whole process from getting enrollment done to the payment process to all of the reporting that needs to go into, you know, presenting to a board of directors and, you know, all of those kinds of things that roll into a VIWA because, yeah, the people who are administering those VIWAs, they have quite a job to handle and, and you've given them a lot of tools. That's really cool. Can you talk a little bit more about um, what you have coming up maybe next year as far as what you're going to be doing for your clients, your roadmap, if you will. Yeah, happy, happy to, you know, I would probably, I'd call out a couple of uh, things that we're really excited about for next year in terms of functionality. I talked a little bit about the, the quoting solution, but having the full quote to card solution um, across multiple markets is, is our goal. Um, you know, so again, having Vimly be that one source of truth from pre-sale all the way through the, the entire billing process and you know all the, uh, the eligibility. But um, um, we're gonna be building out the underwritten capabilities um, for, for quoting as well as level funded. We're getting a lot of, you know, a lot of demands in the marketplace from, um, from MIWAs and associations. And then it'll also help us build our footprint across the you know, national and regional health plan space. You know, the other, the other item we're building out we're excited about is to further enhance our integration capabilities. We've got an API dev portal. So really building out an entire catalog of, of API capabilities for, uh, for those partners for just quick and easy access to the, uh, the data that we collect. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, APIs are, they're growing fast. That's really awesome you guys are getting in there. Yeah, we're excited about it. I mean, it's just, um, um, we continue to reinvest year over year, um, significant amount of, of uh, investment right back into the technology. So um, just to really kind of, you know, stay ahead of the competition and, and uh, stay relevant in the industry. You know, the entire time we've been doing your, your convert or listening to you talk about Vimly, I keep seeing this Pearl Jam CD that you've got behind you. Yes. Can you tell me about that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm kind of a, a grunge addict. I mean, I, I'm a '90s guy. You know, um, it's 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 just the you know I was in college in the '90s, and I think that's what resonates, right? So we got yep. and you got Nirvana, um, but uh, yeah, that's just that's a funny. little something. The only reason about me. I bring that up is I was watching a documentary on Netflix. I think it's on Netflix this week about Woodstock '99. Oh my goodness! If you haven't watched it yet, you, it's right up your alley. I bet, Josh. So yeah, it, I, it was good. It was good. <laughs> Have you seen it, Braddon? Uh oh, you're on mute. <laughs> I'll preview for it. Yeah, yeah. If you get some oh. time this weekend, watch the series. It was awesome. <laughs> we'll do it for sure. Well, I don't want to uh, skip by any opportunities for us. 
to hear about Vimley. What else do you want to share while we're together today? You know, I would, I would, you know, I was talking a little bit about the, you know, the solution itself. I think it's important to say too that, you know, we've got multiple user experiences that are all across a single set of code. Um, you know, so you've got the employee self-service, you've got an employer part of portal that has an individual branded dashboard for each member group. We do offer a broker portal that's more in line with the quoting and with the underwriting writing capabilities. But then everything is rolled up and aggregated into our partner portal, which is going to give that administrator, the MIWA, the association, the trust, full visibility and control and communication capabilities over their entire book of business, whether it's um, in its entirety, whether it's singling out a separate employer group, even down to the employee independent level. Uh, very robust uh, capabilities to add a new member group to the book of business uh, right from the portal in a, literally a matter of minutes. So there's no submitting a ticket, waiting for that to be built and, 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 and done um, in a couple of days. The administrator, whether it's the, 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 the MIWA or whether it's Vimly doing it on their behalf, we leverage the same technology to serve our partners. So it can be, you know, it's, it's just done, it's quick, it's efficient. Um, and it's, you know, again, based on roughly 30 years of best practices servicing the, uh, the industry. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much, Josh. And thank you, Braden, for joining us from Bimley. We are so excited to have our elite partners featured in this series. And we're really thankful for your partnership with us. Yeah, we're excited. Thanks for having us. And we hope that we're able to uh, to fill a, a, a very unique niche for BTR and for your distribution. So any way we can help, uh, we're happy to. Appreciate the opportunity. Absolutely. So now to the listener of this podcast, if you are an employer looking for an HR technology solution, whether it be payroll, then admin, time and attendance, HRS, HCM, or even a year-round one-on-one enrollment support, we have solutions that are going to fit your culture and your budget. So our elite partners, they're out in the market making a difference in the HR tech world, and we are here for it. So if you would like more information about Vimly or anything you've heard on this uh, podcast today, please email us at btrprojects at bentechre.com to connect with our experts. Thank you so much for viewing today's podcast, and we hope you have a great day.